Hey guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and set up your OBS. Now, the first thing you're going to do is type in obsproject.com. You're going to go into downloads and you're going to download it. And I'm just going to wait for this to open up. Now you're going to click yes. Next. I agree. And now it's just going to install it for you. Now just click finish and it should open up your OBS. And I'm just going to uncheck all of these first so you can see how you can add in a source. Now right click on sources. Just going to wait for that. Click add. Now you can add in Windows Capture, Monitor Capture, Image, Image Slideshow. So I'm going to explain what Windows Capture is. It's just going to capture your browser. Everything you see in your browser, it's going to choose it. You can choose which one you want it to choose specifically. To show specifically, I mean. Monitor capture is just your um, capturing your monitor. Uh, image is a normal picture, or you can choose a slideshow as well. Text is to put in a text, which you can also add some cool features if you, ha if you have Night Dove. Video capture is your video, your webcam, and game capture is your in-game, like DayZ or Sims 3, games like that that require um, full screen. So I'm just going to click Add. I'm going to use uh, another game for an example of what you can do with um, the Windows capture. I'm going to rename it to Old School RuneScape so I don't get confused if I decide to add anything more. And I'm going to go ahead and click Subregion, click OK. Uh, now I'm just going to show you the game. This is the game that I'm going to be using as an example, RuneScape. And I'm going to resize it. Now it's always good to resize it if you're going to be streaming because then you can have um, in the sidebar the chat so you can keep up with your, your chat on the stream. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on properties on the old school. I'm going to click on subregion and I'm going to try and adjust it into um, the certain area that I just want to capture. So it doesn't capture the whole entire screen and it just doesn't look right that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep adjusting it so that I get it to the point where I want it to look at. Um, so I'm just going to um, resize it a bit more so it captures it better. And then I'm going to go back to subregion, adjust it more. Just going to wait for that. Okay, that seems fine. I'm just going to, there we go. And I'm going to click enter now. So just click enter and click OK. And I'm going to preview the stream so you can see how it'll look. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold down shift. Well, first you're going to go to edit scene and then hold down shift. So I'm just going to wait to for it to load. Now click edit scene hold down shift and then you're going to drag it to the area where you want it to show up. Now the reason why we have to hold down shift is so it, it doesn't zoom into the into the area that you're capturing it. So this is why we have to hold down shift so it doesn't um, make it bigger. It just goes to the way that you want it to go. So now I'm going to add another another source so you can see an example of what you can do with your webcam. I'm not going to be using my webcam right now, but I'm going to use the image as an example as to where you can drag your webcam. So I'm just going to choose any image. I'm going to click OK and click to edit scene and then you can just drag it and then I'm holding down shift again to make it bigger. Just going to stretch it out a bit more and then I'm going to click um, edit scene so it just gets out of edit scene and that should pretty much be it on that. Now to stream, um, to get your stream started you're going to have to find your stream key. To find your stream key you're going to have to lo be logged into your Twitch or um, any other broadcasting website, um, any other streaming website I mean. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go into broadcast settings and right there where it says stream key is where you have to put in your stream key. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Twitch account. I can wait for that to load. Go to your dashboard and click on stream key. Now what you're going to do is click on show key, copy the the key that came out there. Copy it and go back to your OBS. Paste your stream key. 
make sure Twitch is uh, selected on the um, as where you're going to be broadcasting. Now click apply after you've there we go and click OK. And next time um, you start streaming, it should pretty much start streaming on your Twitch. So I hope this helped you guys a lot. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe or share the video if you feel like it really helped. Thanks, guys. Bye.